Hello, I'm Kate Niedachina and you are watching Forex Trader Calendar on Insta Forex TV channel. At the beginning of the coming week, markets real track the releases of the following macroeconomic statistics. On Tuesday, the Reserve Bank of Australia is going to unveil its decision on the benchmark interest rate for May. Analysts predicted the same level of 2.25%. After the meeting in early April, the RBA decided not to take active steps and to leave the key rate unchanged to 2.25%. The RBA statement reads that further softening of the monetary policy is possible in the future if needed. It was also noted that the current inflation rate coincides with the targeted levels. A fall in raw prices became another reason of the Aussie tumbling. The exchange rate cut is the regulator's key goal of reaching economic balance. Later on Tuesday, the U.S. Institute for Supply Management will publish the PMI data. Experts suppose that the indicator will remain flat at 56.5. The March report showed cross rates slow down in the U.S. services PMI. In March, the Purchases Managers Index looked a decline to 56.5 compared with the 56.9 in the previous months. Readings above the mark of 50 reflect growth in the sector, while prints below 50 a fall. On Wednesday, the United States will disclose its report on the ADP employment dynamic for April. A rise of 195,000 jobs is expected. In March, the employment growth rates in the U.S. private sector turned out to be lower than the forecasts. According to the data provided by ADP, 189,000 vacancies were added to the U.S. economy in the given period. Experts anticipated a large increase of 225,000. The February score was revised to, to the upside to 214,000. The ADP report released two days before the governmental employment statistics is a sign of a change in the country's non-farm employment. Besides, on Monday, the building approvals data will be published in Australia. The reports on the manufacturing PMI will be provided in China, Germany and the Eurozone. On Tuesday, the trade balance statistics will be revealed in Australia. The United Kingdom will report on the construction PMI data. The United States and Canada will also disclose the trade balance figures. On Wednesday, the labor market statistics will see the light of day in New Zealand. Moreover, several countries will provide their reports on the services PMI. It was Traders Calendar on InstaForex TV channel. Have a nice trading!